welcome to the project. The name of this project is Continuous Delivery Hybrid. The reason why we are calling it hybrid is because we are going to use Jenkins as a continuous integration and AWS PaaS and SaaS services. To follow along in this project, you should have done continuous delivery project with Jenkins and tool and continuous delivery project with AWS. So we're going to use existing resource of our previous two projects and also all the knowledge that you have gathered in this previous two projects. So in this project, we're going to use Jenkins for continuous integration and we're going to use AWS some PaaS and SaaS services like we're going to use CodeBuild, Beanstack, RDS and a few other services. Jenkins will be running on EC2 instance or you can be running it anywhere else. The situation will be more apt when you have a hybrid environment where, where you're running your continuous integration or some workload on computers on operating systems and also leveraging AWS or any cloud computing managed services. And that is the reason why we are calling it as continuous delivery hybrid. Okay, let's see the services that we're going to use in this project. We're going to use Git for version control system, GitHub, Jenkins for continuous integration, AWS code build for running software testing, Sonar Cloud for the Sonar Cloud dashboard. So you don't need to have a Sonar Cube server running. We're going to use Sonar Cloud to push all our code analysis result and display it and also quality gates on that. Our application will be hosting on Beanstack and we are going to use RDS for the database. If you want, you can even include ActiveMQ and Elastic Cache in this project. That's optional, but if you want, you can in integrate that as well and we'll understand how. Okay, so let's achieve our goals. But before that, we'll see the architecture of continuous delivery pipeline in this project. Okay, so once we are done setting up our project, our architecture will be like this. Developer makes a code change and push the changes to GitHub. Jenkins is going to detect any change, fetch the change, run code test locally, unit test. If this passes, it goes to the next level where we are going to do code analysis. We're going to use check style, sonar scanner and when it generates the report, the report will be pushed to Sonar Cloud. Not the Sonar Cube server, the Sonar Cloud, which will also have quality gates based on the result. If it's a success, then we build the artifact and all the dependencies will be downloaded from the internet. We are not going to use Nexus over here. Once the packaging of the artifact is done, it will be uploaded to S3 bucket. And from there, it will be deployed to Beanstack environment by using Beanstack plugin. Once the deployment is completed on a staging environment, then we are going to run software testing by using AWS code build service, which will validate our deployment. If it's a success, it can be promoted to the next level. And another Beanstack plugin or setting that is going to deploy artifact to production Beanstack environment. And Beanstack will be also connected to RDS. And if you want, you can integrate also Elastic Cache and ActiveMQ with this, as we have seen in our previous projects. So it's same continuous delivery, but in, but we are mixing, we are mixing Jenkins continuous integration power with AWS cloud services. Let's see how we're going to do it. Let's see the flow of execution now. All right, first uh, we need to already have a continuous integration setup. So if you have done continuous delivery project or continuous integration project in Jenkins, you should already have the setup. And we need only Jenkins server. We don't need Sonar Cube server or Nexus server for this. Once we have this setup already running and tested, then we'll start setting up our application stack by using Beanstack and RDS. So first we'll create RDS security group. We'll launch Beanstack environment and, and we're also going to set up RDS. We're gonna then initialize our RDS database and also security group update. So Beanstack can 
connect to our RDS instance. If you want, you can launch Elastic Cache and ActiveMQ over here, which is optional. Then we will go to Sonar Cloud. We're going to generate a token over there. We're going to do Sonar Cloud integration with Jenkins server. So in the project continuous delivery on AWS, we have integrated Sonar Cloud with code build. Same thing here, Sonar Cloud integration with Jenkins. So when we integrate, we're going to put the Sonar Cloud token that we have got and one more extra property sonar.organization in the Sonar Scanner job. Once we did all this, our Sonar Cloud scanning job, we're going to make some changes so it, it, it uploads the result to Sonar Cloud and we'll test it. Then we'll go to go back to Amazon console. We're going to create an IAM user. This user is, will be used by Jenkins to access AWS cloud services, code build and S3 bucket. So we need to give two policies to this user, code build policy and an S3 bucket policy. So by now we should have a Beanstack environment ready and we'll have a URL to access that environment. We're going to store that information to parameter store, systems manager parameter store. So code build can fetch that URL from there. Then we're going to set up a job in Jenkins to deploy our artifact to Beanstack staging environment. Next, we'll create a software testing job. And in this job, you're going to call AWS code build job, which was running software testing. So same job we'll call, but we have to make some changes in this job. First, of course, we need a plugin, AWS code build plugin with IAM authentication. And in the job, we're going to make some changes and those changes needs to be also done on code build. So we'll go to AWS code build service. We'll switch to this branch CD hyphen AWS hyphen Jenkins. From the previous setup, we used Selenium auto script branch. In this project, we're going to use this branch CD hyphen AWS hyphen Jenkins. We're going to update our build spec file. There will be changes. One obvious change is going to take the URL, Beanstack URL from the parameter store and few other changes we have. So once we have all these jobs, we're going to connect all of them together in Jenkins pipeline and then we'll test it. If you want, you can create one more job which can do deployment to production Beanstack environment. That's optional. If you want, you can integrate that job as well. For this, you will need one more setup of Beanstack and RDS, but it will be same job as deploy to Beanstack job staging it will be similar job, except the URL will be different. The Beanstack environment name that will be different. Okay. Now let's make this happen. Let's go to AWS management console. 